a doze Are you filming me, man? Welcome to another edition of Hafiz Kennels, man, and making history. And I am your hostess with the mostest, your talk showist, your narrator, yo. This is my dog right here. This boy to stay by my feet. I am the Iron King, and you're now tuned in. These puppies have hit five weeks old today. <coughs> They're bad in the motherfucker, but we're about to start potty training them. Yes. My dogs will come to you potty trained. Slightly. And now we're gonna give them their five to go shot. This will be what they're gonna get. Now, one of these shots will cost you about $200 at the vet. But they cost $5.99. <laughs> Realistically. $5.99 from Revival. So that's what you want to do. You want to go to Revival.com and get all your puppy necessities. You do need a vet on that, cause you, unless you're a vet. But you do always need a vet on that. They come with syringes, but all you people that <clears throat> do drugs, you won't be able to get these. They're going to screen your states if you've got problems in your states. But anywho. There's a... Shots come with a powder and a fluid. You got to keep it frozen or cool, I keep them frozen until I use them. Then you unthaw them, they unthaw fairly quick. And now, all you gotta do is mix them. What you do is, you take the orange, you stick the syringe into the orange top, like so, you draw it out. What are you doing, man? Pay attention to the screen. Draw it out. Put it into the this one. Squirt. Take it out. Put the top on. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it. It's 7 a.m. I'm half asleep. The puppy's being bad. It's all good. We got one down. I'm going to go through all of them and get it done. But I'm going to show you how to do one, and you don't use the same, use a different syringe for each puppy, okay? This ain't, it ain't doing all that same thing, same thing. Shake it up. Once you see it's dissolved, put the syringe back in it. Take a little sucky sucky. Hit it, squeeze it up to so right about there. You want a little to pop up into this part. Get all the air out and boom, get a little dribble. It's ready to go. Now these are not in the muscle shots. This is in behind the skin. All right, stay there. I'm gonna find one. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get used. To, I'm gonna do the brown one so I know she's already done. This is Sahara. This is my female pick, Keep. Say hi. Hello. I don't know why I did that. There you go. You gonna sit them? They're gonna be moving around. Pet them. You wanna do it into the skin. All right? Not into the meat. So let's see if we can get her. Let's give her something to play with. Here. Play with that. You take your skin. Don't want to poke yourself either. Uh, still not moving. Give us something to play with. There's a ball. It's an orange. We're going to get Ready? Three, two, one. Boop. In there. Boom. And pull. Then you want to rub it. It's going to be like a little ball. 
I'm gonna rub it out. Rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. And there we go, this is my Five we go, puppy shot done. I'm gonna get the rest of these rascals. One car. I'll get those, I'll introduce those to you on the next one. My picks. Loo 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 loo. Puppy's first day out. After they shot. <laughs> Mommy right here. Getting sucked drain. Sucked dry. Go on. Frankenstein kennels. You put me on this a long time ago. I haven't changed. When I do do hard feet, I use Victor. You get it. They're not the most proper. They don't have a whole bunch of big ass sites. Okay, come on, it's not about you. But what they do is make quality dog food. And I mean, the dog food is so good. The, sh the boo boo comes out perfect. You'll have a whole lot of dog shit all over your yard. You know, so it's really good to give them on this with meat, you know. Okay, you want to say something? Hmm? Give me a paw. Okay, there's Paula. She wanted to get in the film. All right. Victor's awesome. <laughs> First time even on dirt and grass. Come around, Nix. Hey, come here. Bring them over here. Make them follow you. Come on. Come on. They don't follow you. <laughs> a little muddy and dirty out here. It raining a little bit. Look at him. There we go. One got it. Pooped on the grass. Now you guys really get to see how beautiful their coats are. A lot of people don't like the brindles, but a lot of people do like the brindles. Brindles are actually tri-carriers, for those of you who don't know. Because if you see, there's three different colors on these dogs. <clears throat> so with the right female or the right male, you can produce tries. The sable is a try, the female. One of the main reasons I have to keep her for the color, not only for her look, but the color is great. <clears throat> also, the blacks are gonna throw a variety of chocolates, blues. We're gonna have so many different colors in here. We're not gonna have any merles. We might have some tries. We're gonna have tries for sure. We'll have sables, we'll have blacks, we'll have different variation of blue brindles, we'll have reds, we're gonna have some whites, have some tawnies. We're gonna have some colors that ain't never been seen before, too. And I'm gonna be able to make up. Come here, little girl. <laughs> Dog over there is about to get rehomed. Oh, look at his head so big, his head got caught in the gate. <laughs> Come on. Show him them walk. Show him y'all walk. 
Show them y'all walk. There you go. You're getting confident. Get confident. There we go. There we go. There's my boy. Onyx, put your hand on there. That's my boy. Come here. That's my boy. Onyx, come on, stop. There he is. Big fella. Big fella. Come here, fella. I see you. Hey. I see you over there. I see you over there. I see you over there, big fella. Hey, little girl. Your head's too big. Don't stick your head in there. What's up, Bubba? What's up? I might give him some lunch. Hmm? Hmm? You guys look good. Say hi. Generation one. New breed paperwork in the bill. What's up, big fella? Getting a hold of some grass. First time. It's a foliage in your system. Let me give him some. I do hard food him. I give him Victor. It's good to get some extra little vitamins, different things in there. So they're gonna be on raw. Right now I have them on raw sometimes. One one meal raw, two meals raw, one meal hard, puppy milk. Start putting some more vegetables and stuff in their diet now. But you gotta use the Victor, man. I'll put the link in the in the bio. Best dog food out. They're not giving me no kind of promotion or anything for it. I'm just telling you guys what I see. You know, keep the dog food really to a minimum in your yard. Always solid. Never really soupy poop. You know? I'll probably put some, um, I mean, you can always throw some warm water over this to kind of get it a little softer for them. But, you know, everything has a purpose. I'm doing this like this because I want those jaws to start developing, get some strength in there. So, good crunches for them. You know. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, the Iron King. Hafiz Kennels. <clears throat> I'm going to put this snippet in. Look at that hair. Look at cool. Got a little bun on the top. A little extra hair, too. That boy got drapes. Anywho, this is going to go into... As you see, because you're watching it, the history in the making documentary. Hmm. This was inspired because some really great things are happening in ha Hafiz Kennels, in my life in general. So I just want to give a little motivation, man. Motivation, a little thanks, a little gratitude. Dog paperwork's on the way. I'm going to go, when that comes, I'm going to go in more detail than that, but... Wow, what an amazing person that I've been dealing with that's been handling the dog registration papers. New dog breed, new dog name. Um, dual registry. It's pretty pretty extensive stuff. When the paperwork gets here, I'm going to go into there. I'm going to give her a shout out for real. Um, but right now I want to talk about... You know, I'm a little silly in my videos. Some people may like it, may not like it, right? You know, not not that much. I'm not serious all the time. And because I enjoy life, you know? I enjoy life. But here's the thing. That doesn't mean everything has happened in my life that I want to. Not everything has went exactly how I have planned it, right? But one thing you don't have is a reset button. So you got to learn from the mistakes, learn from the whatevers, and keep it moving. It's easier to be happier than to be unhappy. I think that takes more muscles. But anywho, I'm going to keep being me. And if you don't like it, that's even better. So that means I, I'm doing something. Keep on smiling, Night King.
Got to get some more muscles back. <clears throat> Any, oh, damn. The beard ain't growing under there yet. Bald. Anywho, I just wanted to do this video. Thank you guys for watching the series. History in the making. More coming, more coming. I think this video will be slid into the five week old puppy shot video. I'm taking it. I'm taking this video now. Monday, they're going to be five weeks old tomorrow, Tuesday. But yeah, I just wanted to say something. I just wanted to say, you know, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> that's actually fucking, that's true. You never know. But I'll tell you what you want. Just what you want to do. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said this. You want to live your life as if you're going to live, well, you want to plan your life as if you're going to live forever, but live your life as if it's your last day, as if it is your last day. So, and saying that is that for those of you, maybe there's some things you want to do, you want to accomplish, accomplish it. You know, this dog breeding has been almost 15 some years or more in the making for me. And I knew when I started at some point, after different cause and effects happened, I said, you know what, I want to start my own breed. I got tired of the birth defects, of the hip dysplasias, of the bloats, of the different things that came with the purebreds and all this stuff like that. So I wanted to breed it out. And in breeding it out, I started seeing not only can I breed it out, but I can breed in and then also balance, manage, and produce consistently even percentages on each side and create a purebred, you know? Didn't happen overnight. You know, you guys probably like, oh my God. This guy made a dog breed yesterday. No. Every single dog has been handpicked. Some of it not handpicked just by the will of God just allowing me to keep the dog. Because Mongo, I was out the dog business when I, when I created Mongo. I got tired of my Neapolitan master females passing. I got tired of all the dogs and everything. I had some of the best Neos in Chicago for years. You can you can look you can ask about me. Best and for years. And then, you know, did the cross with the Borbo to make Mongo. Had Mongo at the house. I was gonna sell him. I was actually gonna sell that dude. And I had three buyers, right? Two of them. I wanted to neuter him. And I forgot what the other one did, but I know two wanted to neuter him. I had one serious buyer. She was ready to go. She was asking me, can I neuter him and stuff. And I'm sitting there looking at this guy. I mean, he's a nice dog, real sweet, smart dog. I said, man, I'm not going to let him cut your balls off. That's what I said to him. And the next thing you know, I just kept him. You know, I took the ad down, forgot about it, you know, fed him, played with him. Two months. Three months went by. I still had my one male Zeus, which was a Neapolitan master at the time. An incredible stud, beautiful male. And I looked up and he was as big as Zeus. And wasn't even, I mean, half the size of Zeus, maybe almost as big as him at like six months old. And I said, whoa. I said, we're on to something. You see what I'm saying? Next thing I know, he's 200 pounds. Next thing I know, the breed them. Making puppies, making a bloodline, making a, a a Mongo genetic code bloodline, the Mongo blood, as you can see in the in the in the website. So, <clears throat> and now we're here because of that random decision. The blood cake consistent. I did what I was supposed to do. Bred them into the right dogs. Found the right people. Getting rid of the right dogs at the right time to buy this dog. Put this dog with this, and boom, 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 boom. His generation lives on. His blood lives on to create a new purebred dog. At some point, it will be a reproducing itself consistently, standards, everything. So, just to say that is that, you know, you never know. You got Everyone has a plan. Everyone's created a plan, created a blueprint. Certain things can come in and out that'll get you off that plan. But it may be for the better. It may not be. 
but I have tons of ideas, tons of plans. But sometimes you come up with an idea and a plan, put it in the file, come back to it a couple years later. It may not be time for it right then and there. It might be, it might be a move for the future. You know what I mean? But for the sake of time, I'm gonna end this video because I know I'm attached this to another video, so this video is gonna be long. But man, you know, don't give up on yourself. That's the key thing. Don't give up on hope and believe in self. Because how can you believe in a higher power that you can't see, but you can't believe in what you see every day? Okay? That's the thing. Believe in yourself. Never give up. Stay committed. Iron King out. Oh, these kiddos. Ugh.